with the ultimate sledge showing you how I finesse my thick 4C natural hair to wear this $11 Outre Quick Weave Kaya Half Wig which has bold color, intense volume, and tons of luscious curls. I know you guys are going to fall in love. And did I mention, this method is completely heat free. Save your tresses, get into this sledge, and we'll get right into it. So in pure auntie fashion, I'm coming on the scene looking a little suspect, but the transformation is going to be real. But I wanted this to be a no fuss style, so for the bulk of my hair, I put them in four sections, twisted them down to the very ends, and I just crisscrossed them and bobby pinned them into place. We're not struggling today, sis. So you guys know I'm really big on moisturizing my hair and as a means to prep my hair I'm going to be using the Carrot Growth Oil Moisturizer and moisture is really key for hairstyles for thick 4C hair when you want sleek shine and my hair is not even blow dried it's just air dry and it's been twisted down to stretch so that's it. So please do not neglect the moisture make sure you're applying it to the length and the very ends of your hair and you know y'all know this I stress this every time but it's so important and if necessary sometimes you need to oil your scalp I'm gonna be doing this throughout this style but again if you are someone who wants a more sleek look because you know these half wigs aren't always built for us girls we got to do a little bit more to get the look and the aesthetic that we want so after about 10 minutes or so, I'm going to undo the twist and apply this lightweight but hydrating oil to the very perimeter hairline. And I'm going to start creating my curved or C-shaped part. So I really like to do an intense part because for half wigs, they create the ultimate illusion. I don't prefer middle parts, but I like a part because it creates that more realistic natural appearance. So I'm using the Edge Booster Hideout Gel and if you are someone who has a fine hairline or you have issues of thinning or you know perhaps your natural hair color doesn't match the main color of this wig, this is a really good product to use. It is a little thicker in consistency so when you're applying it, focus it near the area near the parting space and the very front of the hairline. Be very strategic but don't apply it in big globs. But sis, use your spoolie to kind of like guide the product through the hair. I'm just using this as a means to distribute the product, not to rake my hair, to comb my hair. That's not what it's for. And I'm going to do this throughout the rest of the front of my hairline. But again, like I know my hair looks a little struggly, but it's only air dry, sis. Okay. So I'm going in with the original edge booster and this is of a lighter and thinner consistency. So it's easier to spread. So it'll help to kind of distribute that hideout gel that's a little bit darker. So once you have the product in your hair, you definitely want to use a soft bristle brush to comb the hair into place where you want it to be. And I'm combing it in the direction of my ear because I don't really want to have to fuss too much with this. I'm all about illusions. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Again, applying small bits of the hideout gel and using the spoolie to guide the product through the hair and then using a soft bristle brush you know, to smooth it over. Now I'm taking the unit and where that large comb is at the front, you do not want to put the comb right behind the part we're actually going to be inserting that comb just behind you know the section you want it to be like right before that part you want it to kind of like mask the part itself because it's all about illusions with this thing so get the rest of the hair out of the way because we still got a lot of work to do so as you guys see, I'm using the end of my rat tail comb to kind of lift the hair that's right next to the edge of the half wig. This is really important because you want to hide that hump that sits right in front of the half wig. I think it's so annoying. I don't know how they can fix this, but it's with like every half wig I've ever used. But again, I'm just moving the hair and kind of pulling it towards my ear and bobby pinning it into place. I'm going to twist the ends down of this section and pin the very end at the back towards the nape so it's out of the way. Now again, I'm gonna do the same for the opposite side. You cannot be shy with the gel. So if you're someone who doesn't like gel, then maybe this style isn't for you, but gel is kind of like the savior to create that sleek look. And so I'm just gonna twist this section like a flat twist against the scalp and then bobby pin it into place in the middle and towards the end. And you guys can finesse your hairline however which way you think is best. This is just how I do it and it works. <laughs> So 
again, I'm going in with the end of the rat tail comb and sort of lifting the hair that's right next to the very front edge of the half wig. You want to lift it ever so gently just to hide that hump. And then you kind of want to push your natural hair to kind of lay right over the hump. It's really hard to explain, but if you're doing it, sis, you know what I'm talking about. Now use your satin scarf, wrap your hair, and let it set for about a good 15 to 30 minutes. And trust me, using these products together is good, but letting it set is key. So I'm in love with the volume, but it's a lot and I'm about to take it up like 20 notches. So I'm just trying to figure out the placement of the hair. For me, I really used my eyebrow or the C-shaped part that I had as a guide. So I'm just gonna use that to kind of flip the hair over because flip over methods are key. You guys will never see me with a half wig and it's not flipped over near the bang section. And I'm gonna layer the bang and the sides just to make sure it has sort of like that framing effect and the layers are kind of consistent. I notice half wig, sometimes the layers are wonky, especially if you're not wearing it straight back. Now I'm applying moisture to the hair and I wanted to remove some of the excess shed hair because there is quite a bit so shake your unit out when you get it, comb it with a shampoo comb or you know just run your hands down the length of the hair gently because you will get a little bit of shedding. Now I'm just clipping this into place. Honestly, I slept in this wig overnight and it honestly lays so much better. So that would be my tip to you all. But I'm just layering up the hair and you guys can see it has this like navy blue, kind of true blue color at the ends. You could definitely cut it out, but I kept it. I wanted to match it to my lipstick. It looks super cute. But after about 30 minutes, I unwrapped the satin scarf. And this is what I'm dealing with, sis. I feel like this look is so cute. The last step is to just secure and bobby pin into place certain hairs, like very strategic hairs, so that they stay in place and they kind of hold that flip over kind of look. I hope you guys understand. You only really need to put in two bobby pins. You don't want to stress too much. But I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys slay. This unit is like nine ten eleven dollars it's super affordable so make sure you go get it and slay this holiday season be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and meet me in the comment section and i will see you in the next one